I'm Hannah Yashivi, and here are five things to know as you start your day. A fire destroyed the booth, the, um, I'm going to give you guys the right name. The Beach Cove waterfront in in Booth Bay Harbor last night. Fire crews got here around 8.30 p.m. And as you can see behind me, there is nothing left of it. Booth Bay Harbor's fire chief, Nick Upbam, says once they got here, the crews found the entire second floor on fire. At one point, a propane leak caused an explosion. But the chief says he doesn't know yet whether that might have caused the fire. No one was hurt, but neighbors had to evacuate their homes because of the extreme heat. The state fire marshal will be here shortly to investigate. The man charged in connection with a deadly shooting in Wells is expected to go before a judge today. Andrew Huber Young is facing murder charges for the death of his one-year-old niece. According to court documents, Andrew and his brother Ethan started a fight over a t-shirt on Saturday. Andrew left to go to a Sea Dogs game, but the fight continued when he got back. Andrew reportedly turned himself into police after the shooting. Ethan and his father were both injured in the shooting and have since been released from the hospital. Jury selection underway in the trial of a man charged with murdering three people. Thomas Bonfanti is accused of shooting three people and injuring a fourth back in February of 2020. The shootings happened in the Machias area, but the trial was moved to Belfast because of the high profile nature of this case. Opening statements expected to start sometime later this week. 79 organizations around Maine are calling on the state to help asylum seekers in need of housing and other services. The Portland Press Herald obtained a letter asking Maine's congressional delegation, Governor Mills and Portland Mayor Kate Snyder to address the crisis. The group say there needs to be a coordinated effort to help asylum seekers statewide. Officials in Portland say they support many of the recommendations. Representatives from the governor's office say they do plan to review the recommendations. South Portland High School is set to be back open today after students were sent home early yesterday because of a threat. Principal Michelle LaForge says the threat was graffiti written on a bathroom wall. Students and teachers were told to shelter in place and then they were eventually dismissed to go home about noontime. Principal LaForge says the person responsible could be expelled and face criminal charges. All right, final check of the weather as you head out on Tuesday. Not too bad out there today. We'll have highs in the mid 60s and upper 60s tomorrow. Also nice and bright. End of the week, the humidity will be on the rise and uh, we'll get some shower chances in here too. The timing is not great right now for at least the start of the weekend. You know, your Friday evening, most of your Saturday, you'll be dodging some drops here and there. Highs around 70 though, it'll be very muggy. And then there could be some lingering showers into Sunday now too with improvements for Memorial Day itself, getting back up to about 70 then. So we'll see how that trends. The trend is not good right now. Hopefully it swings back the other way. Well, Depends and just to accentuate the positive, dodging drops, as we talked about, it's better than all day rain. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's a washout weekend. I was so. hoping you weren't going to hang on every one of my words, <laughs> but... I might be one of the few to only people that listens to what you say. So. I, I think that's an accurate statement. <laughs> well, well, let's hope we can trend back. Yeah, I hear you. So, all right, guys, enjoy your Tuesday. We'll see you, see you with later. updates, including the latest on what's going on in Booth Bay throughout the Today Show. Mm -hmm.